Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Inside the Den. Now today we're going to take a look at Solstice Reborn. It is a free to play uh, 2D fantasy MMORPG and a lot of people are calling it a Ragnarok clone. We're going to take a look and see what we think and see if we think it looks like that. From what I hear it does and from what I've seen it does a little bit too but it has some other features that we're going to talk about. So let's get started. Let's go ahead, we've got one server here, let's jump in there. And as you can see, the reason I know that it does look a little bit like it is I do have one character. We have a lot of character slots here, so let's go ahead and create a new one. You can see here you've got a few different statistics. And one thing I can tell you about the stats is as you level up for the first several levels, I believe it's up to level 10, it automatically assigns your statistics for you. Um, you do have a couple of options, you can go male or female. Let's actually go with female, and then you've got a few different hairstyles you can choose from. Let's go with uh, let's go with that one, and then you've got a few different hair colors. Let's go with a cool blue, and let's name our character. And there we go. Let's create. We're created, and let's get started. So we've got start game down here in the bottom corner. Now, one thing I can tell you that's kind of disappointing is the game has a set resolution. So. You don't have any ability to adjust your resolution to go higher, but the game recently did go through uh, a major update. As you may know, uh, the game also went through a name change, is also now called Solstice Reborn. And you can see here that we start out, we've got a little bit of a tutorial. I highly recommend that you do the tutorial because not only do you get a ton of experience, you pretty much by the end of the tutorial end up about level five. But you also get some starting items and things like that that you're going to want to have uh, to uh, to use in the game and things along those natures. So you've got these different things here, and so you can basically you can choose your different uh, different guides. So and and based on that, you can see this is the guide. Uh, this is the guide for fighters and clerics. This is the guide for magicians and priests. This is the guide for rogues and archers. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go with the fighters and priests and let's head off in that direction. So we now move to that town or that city and you can see there we are. So let's close that out. Let's talk to this person. You can see they've kind of got this cool denotation, this little exclamation point on a book. And then when you want to take and you see there's the quest she has for us, we just go details, shows what we've got and let's accept. And the nice thing here is you've got auto travel. So we're just going to go ahead and auto travel. And in a second here, we're going to take off. So there we go. We're cruising off in the direction we need to go. And you can see there's a bunch of people hanging out here and stuff like that. You can see all their different mounts and cool like uh, looks like a duck. And then you've got like a tiger. And then you've got some people with pets. This little poodle pet here. And she's riding around on a broom with a little black cat. And he's got some cool wings. So the game, I mean, as far as all these different customization options and things like that, have some really cool items. I mean, here this guy's got a little bouncing seahorse which is pretty cool so let's go ahead and talk to her and so she's got uh exchange correspondence with other villages so she's going to bounce us around to different villages basically the ones we would have gone to so it's complete complete that and now we're going to teleport off to the next village we just did get level two so kind of nice so far the uh experience rate is pretty quick let's go ahead and close that out and let's talk to her again and we're going to go to this village here, so let's detail, accept, and off we go. And it's kind of nice because it travels us to those villages. And, and we can look around, we can take a look at the map. You can see there's just tons of different spots on this map. But we're just going to talk to her, complete our quest, and move on. We can save our current location, but we don't want to do that. We just want to complete our quest and continue on. There we go, completed our quest. And we want to head off to the, to the next village that we're going to take a look at. Now, you can see, like I was saying, a lot of people are calling this a Ragnarok clone, and you can definitely tell. I mean, really, other than uh, essentially the auto travel so far, I mean, the game is very similar to Ragnarok. You know, when you get in there, and you, it kind of gives you this these starter quests that walk you back and forth, and you're talking to different NPCs and things of that nature. So, I mean, I can definitely see where, where people are drawing those conclusions. We haven't seen the combat or anything like that yet, but let's, so let's wait until we get out there to see... Uh, see what we've got so we want to return to Moni so there we go and let's see there we go we're gonna automatically take off in that direction and uh, that's kind of cool pet or a mount riding around in a purple dragon so let's talk to her and complete our quest so far we're just jumping around all these quests you can see down at the bottom you've got this orange bar we've got 62 percent of my experience so there we go and basically that one quest gave us that 38% that completed everything. So find the fighter skill book seller. seller. All right, so essentially we're gonna head off, find the fighter skill book seller and probably get a, a skill or something like that. All your menu options are right here. So you can see you've got the Zen guide, you've got help, you've got set your hotkeys, you've got options. 
like I said with the options, you're not really going to do too much because you can't set uh, your actual uh, resolution. So here's the options that you have to set and it's pretty basic. You know, you've got texture quality, uh, minimap transparency, and then you've got the game. You've got a bunch of different things here you can check off. But for the most part, I mean, they're they're all pretty basic. I mean, there's there's nothing there to, to change your resolution. You can adjust your uh, your volume and things of that nature. But so find the finder skill book seller. Let's complete that. Let's complete. And he's got a he's got a quest for us. Are you here to buy a skill book? I'm selling fighter skill books. Yep, learn to use skills. So he's going to show us how to use skills. So two skills: beginner bow, beginner mindset are in your quick slots. Can be used with the shortcut keys. Select your opponent, and press the number two to use the beginner, or the number three to use that. So you can see those are already down here in my in my hot key bar right there. So let's close that out. So what does he want us to do? So buying a skill book. Learn to use skills. So ongoing. So end conversation. So I, there we go. I use that skill. I think I actually need to use it on like a training dummy or something like that. Or let's go ahead and uh, see if we can we can use we can use the first skill, but we can't use the second one. So let's talk to him. End conversation. Let's actually bring up our quest log and read that actual quest. So where's our? Here's my skill list. So there we go. So there's my my two skills, and then you've got passive skills and action skills, things of that nature. So let's bring up some of these other menu items. Guild, we don't have a guild. Uh, buddies, party, inventory. Let's take a look at our inventory. So we do have some basic stuff, just a yellow egg. Mysterious egg that strengthens one voice. So basically, so you can do like uh, world chat type of thing. So it's a lot of like, like a microphone in a lot of other games. Let's take a look at this quest. So learn to use skills. Use the beginner bow and beginner mindset on the practice Poyo next to the fighter skill book center. So where's that practice Poyo? He's right there, he's kind of hidden. So let's, so you can use the map to kind of turn everything. So let's go ahead and use these skills like he wants me to on, on this little guy. So there we go. So we already started beating on him. So we completed our quest, complete, turn that in. And like I said, I'm already level three just from a few simple, easy quests. So, you know, you're moving up, moving up pretty quick. And there we go. So we're gonna head off in the other direction. Let's take a look at our, our last couple things here. My information, so you can see here. And like I said, as you level up, the game automatically assigns your, your basically it's dumping everything into strength for me right now because uh, I am a fighter class, so it's just dumping everything into strength. So, return to the guy Moni. So there we go, we completed that. Oh, and we did get, what is that, 1,000 coins. So there we go, and we leveled up again. So we're already level four. So like I said, the experience rate is pretty quick. So there we go. Let's take off in another direction. I didn't even read that one. So let's see if we can take a look. And you do have your items cash shop right here. With M, you can bring up your map. Now, what's really funny about it is if we go ahead back to the menu, and you want to see some of your uh, some of your uh, your hotkeys and stuff like that. You can see you've got the my information is C, which is pretty standard. Quest is L. Inventory is V. I'm not sure why it's V. Let's see if something else. Party is P. Let's see if something else is B and I. Uh, skill list is K, G, options are O, hotkey help. Now, I don't know. Let's see. Is something out? Nothing is in B or I. So, I mean, I guess I can restructure inventory, but it's really weird that inventory is set to V, but whatever. So, look around Mall Street. All right, let's complete that. Hit complete. Let's get another quest from him. What is he going to have us do? Now, I know one of these gives me an actual weapon here pretty soon. Find the Vader Hotel. So, let's do that. And I don't think it's going to take me too long because I'm just going to take off and go find it on my own. But like I said, as you can see, I mean, the game is definitely uh, definitely looks a lot like Ragnarok Online. Um, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, the game is ex immensely popular. And now this game isn't, a, like I said, it isn't a new game. It is an update. And, you know, it just changed its name to Solstice Reborn. So you, should do, you do still see a high level of population in the game. You can see there's a ton of players right in here as we go into this hotel. Let's talk to her and complete this quest real quick and uh, get back on our way. So it's always nice when you see a good level of population. And, and, and with that, you can see there's, there's tons of little things that a lot of people tend to like, you know, like being able to put wings and, you know, being able to have different types of mounts, whether it be a cat or a bear or the dragons or all the different things that you're seeing a lot of this duck, all the different things that you're seeing a lot of these people running around on. So there's a lot of variety when it comes to uh, the items in the game, whether, you know, like whether it be the, uh, you know, the actual equipment that you have 
or it be um, mounts or pets or things of that nature. So it's kind of cool to see that high level variety. This chick's got an amazingly... It looks like she has a fro in that picture, but it looks like she just has big bushy blonde hair here. So, and she's got some crazy... Uh, it looks like tattoos, but I think it's like her bra sticking out of her top. <laughs> it's kind of weird because like I'm seeing all these characters run around that look like little kids and then they're showing stuff like that. But hey, whatever. So there we go. It looks like we're getting a free haircut certificate. But you know, right now I don't want a haircut. So even though it wants me to use, it really wants me to use that that haircut certificate. So let's see. Um, I'm still training, so I won't be as good as my master. Give him a chance. It's cheap. End conversation. So let's bring up our inventory and see if we uh, we have that. Where's that? Let's see. Event gift box can't be traded. So let's open that up. There we go. So what do we have here? Low physical attack soul. Increases physical attack by 40. Low dash candy. So we don't even have... So let's take a look at what this quest actually wants us to do. I'm rushing through some of these quests and I'm not actually reading, reading them. Find the lost scissors. Catch naughty jink that wanders around the salon uh, to find the lucky scissors. So naughty jink, there he is. So let's go get him. So basically, the, it's just teaching us some basics of combat, and then we've got a little item box that I think well, there we go. We can pick it up. We just had to turn around. Scissors of luck. So kind of the basics of combat was taught right there, uh, and also from picking up. Uh, the ability, you know, be able to pick up items and things of that nature. So, I mean, the game is, is really walking you through all of the, you know, a ton of the basics. So now we're off to meet the pet merchant. Let's see if we're going to actually get our first pet in the game. But, I mean, graphically, the game looks really, really good. I think, we, did we get stuck right there? I think we did. I'm not sure where, let's see where we need to head off to. Nice thing is you can bring up the map at any time and you can just click. So like I got, see, I got stuck right there. So I just got stuck again. So now I'm just going to click up in this, uh, this area up here and I'm just going to take off running in that direction. So you can do that on any of the maps and everything is kind of broken down into these, these different little instance maps, so to say. And uh, whether you're outside and fighting monsters and stuff like that, or if you're running around the different towns, or the different areas of the towns. So there we go. We completed that quest. Now let's see. Do you need a pet? My only talent is taming cute small animals. Come to me if you need one. Go to my partner, manage Viola. So you can get pets from this guy. We're going to actually head off in a different direction and see his partner. Let's see. She must be in here somewhere. So it looks like on the map, green buildings are actual little uh, little instance buildings. Well, she I was going to say, she looks like she's got a pretty nice outfit on, and she definitely does. So amazing. Sometimes these little, uh, these little cartoons are drawn for exactly that reason too, to just uh, uh, create a, a, an emotional response, so to say. So, but that was quick, completed that, so let's head off in the next direction. Like I said, the experience is really, really quick. We're already level six, and we're just cruising around. It looks like we're heading back to, uh, to one of the other sections, but you can see here you've got a guild center, so probably the spot where you actually start your guilds. You've got city hall and then the, uh, the safe bar where we just were. We can go ahead and close that map out. Let's see, you got the item shop down here, so if you ever do want to buy anything, it looks like that guy has got another one of those seahorse pets. <clears throat> but the basics of the game are pretty simple. Um, moving around and stuff like that is really, I mean, as you can see, it's very easy. You can move around with W, A, S, and D, but it's always so just simple just to, to click around to, to move to the different areas that, you know, you almost hardly would never use the W, A, S, and D, because it's just so easy to either auto move or to just click in different areas. So there we go, we're already level seven. So the game is getting you up pretty quick. Now, the thing is, as you start, I'm actually starting as a very basic type character. I don't have, that's actually, we could bring up our, our help menu while we're running around and I think we can see the different character classes that we have available. Let's see here. For some reason, it doesn't want to bring it up. Let's see, maybe it's the guide. Yeah, there we go, the Zen guide. So there we go. So we can see here, this is a great little guide that you can bring up. It tells you all the different things that uh, that you have available to you. Um, let's see, stats, skills, quests, trade, sell, battle, quick slots, items, belongings, craft, menu, screen. Let's see, maybe it's in menu. Hmm, I thought it was underneath this, uh, this little Zen chat or this Zen guide screen. Let's see, because there is a spot where you can actually see 
all the different classes that are available to you. Let's see if it's under here. Nope, it's not. Change equipment mode. So actually, let's go ahead and turn this in and, and maybe we can see some more stuff. So back to the Fiesta. So I take in uh, blah, blah, blah. So let's complete that quest and he's gonna go ahead and give us a new one. Return to that guide. So let's go ahead and do that. It looks like we'll get some more money. While we're doing that, we'll see if we can uh, we can use that guide to, to find. So basically what you have is, is that, I believe it's level 16, you get your first job change. Cause let's see, bring this up. And I think it'll tell, say here somewhere. It doesn't, it doesn't actually say what I am. Cause right now I'm not actually a fighter. Uh, I haven't I haven't gotten to there yet. Actually, I think maybe there we go. View job list. There it is. So we had to come back to this guide so you could see that. But you can see right now here I am. So I'm just this Xenan. So it's just refers to all ordinary people. So I haven't actually picked a job yet. So you can see here that I can co I can convert to a fighter at level 16, and or a magician, a rogue, an archer, an acolyte, or this predictor. So basically, the predictor is kind of like. Um, Fights in close distance use the system of ma uh, magic to be different from the fighter. So it's kind of like a, uh, a, a, a a mage warrior type. And the acolyte uses magical attack based on intelligence. Assistant magic. So it's kind of like a uh, an enchanter or a, a support type character. Then you've got the archer and the rogue uh, and the magician. And then you can see, like, once you pick, let's say, the fighter, then you can go on to become a knight, a warrior, and a warlord. And it's kind of cool because they can show you, you know, what you can look like later in the game, which is kind of cool to see all that. I mean, you can see that for all the different characters, and you can see uh, exactly what their process is if you want to by uh, by going through all these. But like I said, the experience is, is, is a nice, fast pace. So you can see, like I said, I'm already level 7 level eight now <laughs> just from doing the um just from essentially doing a lot of this tutorial stuff that just has me running around the city getting used to where things are inside the city and things of that nature you know different merchants and and things like that and now this is moving me off into the uh the other section of the city let's talk to this guy real quick meet Summerhill. so we talk to him complete and eventually we're going to get uh, one of go to the weapon merchant. So there we go. We get our first dagger weapon once we go to this weapon merchant So let's take off go to the weapon merchant and we're gonna take off running in that direction and finally get our first weapon Finally at level 8 so kind of funny that it's finally at level 8. I'm guessing we were going in here Yeah, cuz this is the armory. So let's go in here and talk to the weapon merchant right there Turn in the quest complete that get our dagger there we go, and we leveled up again, so we're at level, level 9. So we want to talk to the defense merchant, and we'll actually get a shield. And that's this guy right here, so we don't have to go very far, and he's got a cool little pipe. So let's turn that in. There we go, we got our shield. Let's get, and then he wants us to go to the blacksmith on Baker Street. So turn that in, and while we're running, we could probably bring this up. Gear, and we can't even equip these yet. So why can't we equip this stuff? So what does it say? It says uh, melee attack increase. So let's see. There we go. We no, we can't. We can't equip them yet. Let's see here. Try and drag it over there. For whatever reason, it's red and it doesn't actually tell me. So that's kind of disappointing. It doesn't tell me why I can't. Uh, I can't actually. Oh, it actually does. It says minimum request level 10. So I'm guessing that I'm pretty much gonna get level 10 here pretty soon, and then I'll be able to equip them, which is really strange that the game wants you to wait until you're level 10, but there we go. Now we can equip these, and you can see I've got them equipped now, and then now we wanna go to this defense master, and we're gonna get a whole bunch of gear, essentially a bunch of broken gear before we head outside. So the game really wants you to uh, basically be well equipped before you head outside and start fighting monsters that are all of you know level one and two But unfortunately, we didn't get out there. Let's complete that and get all these uh, get all these items start equipping them and uh, Let's turn this in and let's get this quest. He's got a cool little sword wear equipment So I wore the equipment there we go. I put it all on so there we go to complete this quest You must equip Yep, I already equipped it all so there we go. We completed it complete there we go turned it in and we're now level 11 since you were a beginner your strength stats increase automatically now that I'm level 10 now I can actually I've got five points that I can equip on my own so let's put one more in here let's see how do we do this here from now on you must manually change your stats okay so let's see there we go so we can increase 
Let's put one there and let's put a bunch into stamina to get more health and apply. So like I said, up to level 10, you do have your stats automatically applied and then starting at level 11, and it even tells you that. So the game does a really, really good job of walking you through all these little basic things. Unfortunately, we didn't get outside to take a look at the combat. I mean, we did get to see some of the combat, but none of the stuff really outside. Um, let's see where we are here. Uh, we're too far away. We need to get way over here and then head in a different direction. And I don't have enough time for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's trip inside the den. Don't forget to subscribe and keep yourself updated as each new episode is released. And if you'd like to play or learn more about Solstice Reborn, you can read our full review at MMODen.com or just click the link in the description. Till next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.